Hey everyone, my name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So with the HTC module Kickstarter still going, actually we just hit our campaign goal of $10,000 which is awesome and we still got like 15 days left. Pretty cool. But I've had a few questions on how I'm going to program the bootloader on them. And of course since it's open source some people are going to want to make their own module so they'll want to know how to do that also. And on live stream a couple of weeks back I built this board called the HCC Boot Commander, which is a pogo pin board for programming the HCC module, which you can just push it on, program it, and then put another one in, keep doing that. Kind of simplifies the operation. This is what I'm using right now to program my HCC modules. And uh, I might make a better one in the future, since I'm going to be doing a lot, but right now that's what I'll use. So if you want to build one and make your own HCC module, follow along. I'll show you how it's done. Let's go. So what you're going to need is, of course, the custom circuit board that you can get from PCBWay or you can download the files, order it wherever you want. A couple of buttons, you only need one, uh, really, if you're just going to be programming. These are spring headers, little pin headers that go on the board. Uh, I'm going to be using an Adafruit trinket. This is going to provide the 3.3 volts and it's going to be able to input button presses into the computer. And then we've got a little header here, which connects the Atmel ice, which you also need. This is what will put the bootloader on it. And this is a 3D printed part that you can get on Thingiverse that I just printed. It took about 20 minutes. That's going to hold HCC module to program. So the first thing I'm going to put on is the programming pins, the pogo pins. And there's five of these. Just prop the board up with some something else, like I've got a whole bunch of circuit boards of so the same height. So you can put the pogo pins into the holes. And I just solder them from the back. Just like that. And you can see they're now held in place by the solder. Next. We'll solder on the programming header. And I'm using headers for the trinket so that I don't have to permanently solder it on. Okay. And now, finally, the buttons. Okay, so we got the whole thing soldered on and the trinket goes on just like that and now we'll add our 3D printed part just on here with some of these plastic threading screws that I have that I use for everything. Just like that. And this part is done. Okay, now we've got it all connected. We've got the Adafruit trinket on here. We'll write a quick program, and all the program is going to do is simulate a mouse click. So, realistically, you don't really need these if you're just doing a few boards. But if you're going to be doing a lot, that can be helpful later on. So, the program, as we see here, is just acting like a mouse, and we're just using one of the buttons for now. But you could program them to do other things like minimize or change the file if you wanted to put different bootloaders on different controllers. So right now we're just going to use the left button which is left middle right on this, left middle right, left button, left button, click state. So when you press the left button it's just going to pretend to be the left mouse. So let's plug it in, program it and make sure it works. Alright so the left button should now be the mouse so when I click this going to move the mouse there. Okay, so to program the bootloader, we have to connect the Atmel ICE and the trinket to the computer. So when we connect the trinket, we'll see that this light is now green, which means that it's getting 3.3 volts, or it sees that at least. 
we go into Atmel Studio, Tools, Device Programming, there we go. We've got the module, and what we're going to do is push the module into the pogo pins. Push it in like that. It's reading, and uh, we can just test this, so we'll set this to our bootloader. Hit the program button. Cool. And just like that, it's got a bootloader on it, and it's ready to be soldered and programmed using the Arduino IDE. It's that quick. So if you plan on making your own HTC modules and you need to put a bootloader on them, you can get all the parts and build your own HTC module programming jig. It'll really simplify the whole operation. And I didn't really show it, but these are just to left click, so you would just left click on the program button so you don't have to touch the mouse. You could just keep putting modules in and pressing program. Makes the thing much faster. And as always, if you want to support these projects, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can become a patron, or even better yet, you can go to my Kickstarter and you can become a backer on there. All those things help me out and it helps me to continue to release open source projects for you to create on your own for free. So everyone, as usual, be good and have a good day.